What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I have had one hell of a week. I have to admit, the 75 hard challenge whipped my butt this last week. I hope you guys have had an awesome week since the last time we were here. Um, I actually am going to be uploading a week one recap for you guys to see a little sneak peek into what this past week was like for me. So let me tell you a little something about today's video. I sat down just a few days ago to record this video. I had the same little get up on and everything because if you thought I was going to waste this look, I had all my little notes and I was ready to walk you guys through how to create your very first budget. I really was. I was so ready. And then it hit me. So before I ever created my first budget, there was a really big shift in mindset that had to take place. I had to not only admit to myself that my spending habits were just complete trash, but I also had to just acknowledge that the discipline it takes in order to get my financial life in order was just not there. So before I start to take you guys step by step on how to create your very first budget, I have to do a little more than that. I have to help you reframe how you view budgets and hopefully help you repair your relationship with money altogether. So before I begin, I have to ask, what comes to mind when you hear the word budget? I've asked people this many times before when I've helped them to create their budget and some words that I hear are rules, I always hear constraints, and somewhere in there is the phrase no fun. Budgeting, I'm telling you, gets a very, very bad rep. And to be honest, before I got into making my own budgets and getting my financial life in order, I thought the exact same thing. So let's talk about what a budget actually is. First, a budget is a snapshot of what is most important to you. All right, now everybody open your Bibles up to Matthew. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, in the Bible, there is a verse that helps me explain my point perfectly. It's Matthew chapter 6, verse 21. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And... I'm not gonna lie, some of y'all's hearts is at home goods right now. When you sit down to create your budget and you take a look at what you've been spending your money on, you're gonna get a pretty clear picture of where your priorities lie and what's important to you. Next, another thing that a budget is, is permission to spend. Now this is the fun part. It was definitely the fun part for me but I had to reframe how I viewed that. And instead of looking at my budget as, look at all these bills that I have to pay, look at all these things that I have to do, I was able to look at it as, look at all of this stuff that I get to spend my money on. And when you rearrange your budget to really frame what's important to you, it actually feels good to be able to afford those things. And of course, everybody's budget is going to look different but what your budget consists of is completely up to you. And lastly, a budget is the foundation for any financial goal that you create for yourself, big or small. You could be working to get out of debt. You could be planning for a trip post-COVID, of course. You could be saving for a home. No matter what your goal is, creating a budget is going to be one of the first steps to getting to that goal. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about what a budget is not. First, I want to be really clear and let you know that a budget is not meant to confine you or put you in a box for how you choose to spend your money. Um, a budget is not something that somebody else can create for you. I've had people ask me all the time, can I just please send you my numbers and you create a budget for me and I'm going to follow that budget? And the truth is, no, I can't. There is something about creating your own budget and creating your why that just helps you to stick with it over time. It's much more sustainable if you create your budget yourself. Now, can I help you create a budget? Absolutely. I love helping people create budgets. But if I'm creating it for you, you don't have any skin in the game. You are much more likely to wind up right back at square one if you don't have a hand in creating the budget for yourself. 
And the last thing that a budget is not, and I want to make this really clear, this was one of the main reasons that I wanted to do this video before I walked you through step by step on how to create a budget. A budget is not a cure-all for bad spending habits or a lack of discipline in your financial life. Without a plan, without a strong why in mind, and honestly, without discipline, a budget is just a piece of paper. When I talk to people about creating budgets, one of the questions that I tend to hear also is, okay, Christian, I get it. Budgets, 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 great. But if I'm paying my bills every month, why do I have to create a budget? I know what my bills are. I can just pay them and then use the extra money to do whatever I want, right? Definitely not. Let's start there. It's just not enough. When you create a budget and you put a plan behind your income, it does a couple of things for you. It puts yourself in a position to one, hopefully become more financially independent over time and enable you to not have to depend on either a person or a job. And something that I'm sure is important to everybody, you get to do way more than just pay bills and die. You actually get to enjoy your life when you're putting a plan behind your money and making your money work for you. Now, I've mentioned before that everybody's budget is gonna look different. If you get on Google right now and you type in different ways to budget, you're gonna come up with at least five or six ways that you can break down your money and plan it out every month. Because there are so many different ways to budget your money, I highly encourage you to do the research and figure out what method works best for you. Personally, I use the zero-based budgeting method. I could talk about this method all day long. I absolutely love it. And the premise of this zero-based budgeting method is that you tell every single dollar where to go. Every single dollar that you earn has to have a name and has to have a place in your budget. And I'm gonna tell you why that's important. So one of the first things that you need to know about the zero-based budgeting method is one very simple formula. And trust me, I am not a math girl either. Anybody who knows me knows this, but this is definitely something I can get behind and understand. With the zero-based budgeting method, you take your income, subtract your expenses, and if you're doing it right, it should always equal zero. When you practice the zero-based budgeting method and you take your income and subtract your expenses, you may have some money left over. Every single dollar that's left over should propel you and move you forward toward any financial goal that you've set for yourself. The zero-based budgeting method was one of the main reasons why I was able to pay off $30,000 in one single year. If you guys haven't had a chance to check that video out yet, I will provide the link down in the description box. I am really looking forward to walking you guys through how to create your first budget step by step. That will be really soon, but until then, what I really want you to know is that having a budget is your foundation. That is the first step towards any financial goal that you aim to set for yourself. A budget is just another word for plan. and having that plan for your finances can take you from questioning where your money is going to confident about where every dollar is. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning into my videos every week. As always, if you want to connect, feel free. All of my social media is going to be down in the description box below. Feel free to check out my other videos in the meantime, and I will post a new video every Wednesday. Thank you guys. Till next time.